In this video, I am going to share four tips on how we can clean and organize Google Classroom at the end of a semester or school year. These four tips that I collected and applied to in my Google Classroom aim to help tidying up our Google Classroom and prepare it for the next semester. For tip number one, remember that when you create a Google Class, a folder for that class is created in Google Drive. That folder will be inside a folder called Classroom. That is where all the files you created and your students submitted in Google Classroom are stored. Let me show you where that is. I will go to drive.google.com, which leads me to my Google Drive, and find the Classroom folder. I will double-click it. As we can see, it already has several folders in it. After every end of a semester, what I usually do is put all the class folders to one master folder so that this classroom is organized and just in case I will be needing the class folder again, I will know exactly where to find it. Since the first semester this school year just ended, I am now going to create a master folder. I will name it AY2020-2021 first semester. I will change its color. To do that, right-click the folder and select Change Color. Then choose the color from the options. I will now move all the class folders here. To do that, I will press the Control key on my keyboard and press each folder. Once all the folders are selected, I will drag it to the Created Master folder. It's simple, right? For tip number two, take note that when you create a Google Class, a calendar for that class is generated in Google Calendar. This calendar will contain all the due dates that a teacher set in his classworks. At the end of a semester or school year, we have an option to delete those calendars to declutter our Google Calendar screen. To do that, we go to calendar.google.com. Then on the lower left side of the screen, you will see all the individual calendars for each class. To delete, let us put the mouse pointer over the calendar name and select the three dot symbol that will appear. From the options, select Settings and Sharing. On the Calendar Settings page, scroll down until you find the Remove Calendar area. Select the Delete button. This action will permanently erase the calendar and nobody will be able to use it anymore once done. So if you need to print out the calendar, do it first. Here's tip number three. To clean the Google Classroom page and to remove the old Google Class from the list without actually deleting it, we can use the archive feature. To archive a Google Class, find the class card, then click the three dot symbol or more options at the upper right side of a class card. From the options that appear, select Archive. A pop-up will appear that will remind you of what is about to happen, which are the following. First, archiving a class causes it to be archived for all participants. Second, archived classes can be modified by teachers or students unless they are restored. Third, the Google Class will be moved to the Archive Classes and the files will remain in Google Drive if it is not deleted in the Classroom folder. I will now click the Archive button. Let's check if it was really archived. I will go to the upper left corner of the screen and select the three bar symbol or the Classroom menu. I will find the Archive Classes option and select it. As we can see, the class is here. If you change your mind or for some important reasons you need to restore the class, Find the class card in the Archived Classes page. Then at its upper right corner, select the three dot symbol and choose Restore. Take note that once restored, you and your students will be able to interact with the class again and the class will be shown back to the classes and in the classroom menu. A notification will appear on the lower left side of the screen. I will go to the classes page. As we can see, the class is here again and all the contents under the stream classwork, people, and grades are active again. To review how to archive, I will return this class to the archive classes. Again, here's how.
the tip number four will be done only if you really want to completely and permanently remove the Google Class from Google Classroom. If this is what you want to achieve, we can use the delete feature. To delete a class, you need to archive it first. Remember also that you cannot delete the class in which you were only invited to go teach. Therefore, the delete option will only be available if you are the one who created the Google Class. I will demonstrate how to permanently remove a class. I am now in the Archive Classes page. I will find the class card that I would like to delete. At its upper right corner, I will select the three dot symbol and choose the delete option. Once confirmed, you will no longer have access to any posts or comments that have been added to the class. The class files will remain in Google Drive unless you delete them, and you cannot undo this action. I will press the delete button. After that, the class will no longer appear in the archive classes. I hope this video will help you in cleaning and organizing your Google Classroom. If you have other tips that you would like to add, please comment it down below. We will greatly appreciate it as it will surely help all of us. If you think this video is helpful, please press the like button. Share this to your friends too. They might be in need of this information right now. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, please click the notification bell. Thank you for your support.